to launch it. Oops. What the fuck am I doing? Oops. Oh, rage quit. Okay. Let's just get into it. A little bit of a different start to the stream today. But uh, I got like four dark and darker videos and there's there's might even be more at this point, but we'll probably just watch these. Um, let's see what's going on. Was this game stolen? To me, it seems like it was at this point, but I don't think they really did anything wrong. Hello there. Welcome to another video. It's a beautiful Saturday and I have some terrible news for you. Yep. Dark and darker. The guys behind it, Iron Mace, have been issued a cease and desist, if you will, a DMCA by Nexon. So if you get hit with a cease and desist, that makes me think that there are assets that they stole and they're saying, yo, you can't like sell this anymore. You can't even promote this anymore. To all our fans, we have recently been served a cease and desist letter and cut take down by Nexon regarding Dark and Dark are based on distort- But DMCA claims can be false though. Distorted claims. So... We are currently working with our legal team to remedy this issue in the best manner possible. Due to the sensitive legal nature of this issue we must be careful with our statements so as to not jeopardize our position. We ask for your understanding as we work to get the game back up as quickly as possible. Please know that we will do all that is possible for our fans. I'll keep it short and sweet because I don't want to get into the days of our lives with this whole court case that's going to go down. But essentially, employees that work at Iron Mace and developers of Dark and Darker, uh, one of them in particular previously worked at Nexon. And they were working on a project that was like a Tarkov traction shooter looter game. Basically, you know how Battle Royale took off? Well, extraction shooters are basically the thing now. So every company and their dog is getting really creative out there and making their own version. Story has it, individuals in question at Iron Mace that previously worked at Nexon work on a project called P3, and alledegedly, the word on the street is one of those staff members leaked content oh, online Ethan, of a project called P3. That's what's being stated out in a bunch of articles on Korean- Okay, so yeah, police season search Iron Mace for Nexon project leak suspicion. Nexon Dark and Darker is made with stolen project P3 data. Iron Mace denies suspicion of no asset leak websites uh, according to iron mace every time they've been raided over the past like year they, they found nothing but we haven't really heard anything from the other side about that but covering this and many youtube commentators that can comment on the matter and what happened after was that member and a group of nexon employees left that company and then started their own company iron mace they deny that they've taken any assets and it's apparent this comes to a he said she said situation mm -hmm. where members of iron mace came up with the dark and darker concept whilst working for nexon so nexon believed as a company they laid claim to the ip because they were previously working for them when they came up with the idea but iron mace argue you can't copyright a genre which i totally agree True. with because the bajillion battle royale yeah. games that have been made out there well PUBG and player unknown can go and sue every honestly though even if if Iron Mace literally stole code from them for their game, I don't give a fuck. Single company out there in the, the world that has made a battle royale. Some may argue, H1Z1. Whoever made pub, the freaking PUBG Origins, I think it was an armor mod originally, by mm -hmm. the guy who made PUBG. So here we are. And they make this game. The world goes ballistic over it when they did a play test at the end of 2022. And it's just, it's just pure... Just pure fun in its like purest form. Like you could snort a video game that yep. is dark and darker. Yep. And me personally, I haven't experienced that in years. Like as a content Same. creator slash video gamer, I've just been in this like malaise, this this absolute gamer depression. I've basically been. See, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm at that point. There's a lot of games that I enjoy playing and new games that come out that I've enjoyed. But dark and darker is the most fun I've ever had playing a game on stream. Game refugee since you know since dark and darker came out and i feel like a lot of people like that in the multiplayer scene single player triple a game development like they still make some bangers you know they've got doom eternal and you know all these games like last of us that people really vibe with but multiplayer scene since like battle royale took off has just become creatively bankrupt and there's a couple gold nuggets out there a lot of people like tarkov but that, other than that there's not been much inspiration in the scene fast forward to now i don't think a lot of people like tarkov i feel like tarkov is just riddled with like cheaters now and cheater accusations do people really like that game still all i hear are big content creators just being like yeah we're not playing that game 
this game comes out. Yeah, and light and lighter looks good. Without <laughs> any financial backing other than just financing the small team. That's it. We project. just got to change the name of the game now. Like an overnight success, allegedly. Now, I don't want to get too much into the discussion of the, the nitty gritty because it's all sort of he said, she said. A former member that worked at Nexon has allegedly taken assets from that project that, that was dismissed and taken it over into Dark and Darker. It's public knowledge that Iron Mace use assets like, you know, models and animations bought off of the Unreal uh, marketplace to speed up the development of the game, which is just the models and animations. And they see. Oh, wait, they really? Sets like, you know, models and animations bought. This cave troll is just something that was like you could buy from Unreal Engine. That's interesting. Or off of the Unreal uh, marketplace to speed up the development of I the game, which is just the models and animations. And they see they see models that are fit in the the fantasy realm, and they fit the aesthetic of the game, so everything looks similar. And they sort of re jig it, if you will, and re rig it to make it work in the game and it speeds up the process of development what about it's dark so but some wait of the it gets dark misconceptions in the community of the Good game that are like wait what is going on here did they steal those not the case that's all bought and paid for so it seems to be either they're fighting over the idea the concept of it and they're trying to sue iron mace over we that. also i remember a couple weeks ago when this first started breaking we started hearing about it they we saw those screenshots of like the original p3 game i guess and then dark and darker and like the dungeons kind of like like the just the ambiance like looked similar but the whole ui was different maybe the torch was the same you know like for that fact you know that they stole their idea the company's idea because they worked for them and then they took over and took the idea that they didn't want to like here let me go and find that i have that actually um uh God damn it. Here we go. Let's just find where they had the screenshots. This, this, these right here. Into whatever game it's mostly it is a pay to win and it wasn't one Before of the I first into the meat of this video though i want to be very clear that there are no sources actual sources being cited in the article they don't okay. reference anyone at nexon they don't state that they have a source at nexon so this is and dark and darker we're looking at any external source but then they it goes okay. to a screenshot of conversation with p3 right nexon or anyone close to nexon or provide any other media than a few screenshots that were taken yeah like this this the UI is completely different. It's hard to tell because of my, like, his camera and everything, but the UI at the bottom is completely different. The map is completely different. From a game's show. Even the, the graphics look different. Showcase that was teasing a project. Looks so different. Is there anything else that it showed in here? roll with or that they stole code that seems to be the thing so it's kind of like it's it's all up in the air but i am ace are adamant that basically they're in the right they're they're not guilty of theft and they're defending it through thick and thin now i'm not alleging anything this is just what i see as i feel like if iron mace did feel like they were in the wrong they wouldn't be risking it like to take it to the fullest legal extent because that's going to cost a lot of money a gamer of the game and a member of the public how i like perceive if they really felt like they were wrong they would is, just I'm give up saying this is fact but how i perceive what i, I don't, see probably going not. down before us all is it's potentially corporate bullying you know Ramen, i just put on chat no saying potentially because it seems like this big game is popping off slipped out of the hands of this big company nexon who may have dropped the ball and lost the gold okay, fine of the goose Thank you, you know what i'm saying i'll listen to you and instead of taking the l they want to take iron mace to the grave <sighs> so it appears to be a beef between a creative force that worked at iron mace and then the suits at nexon now they've done a cease and desist a lot of the you guys the dark and darker community of the game are panicking freaking out that this is the end it could be. 
It literally could be. It could be sued into the ground. But I think this is where you come in, the public. I'm not saying you start smear campaigns or anything like that, but you support the developers. I personally, I've, I've reached out to the developers and I've seen their public statements and everything that I can see, it just, it just doesn't seem like they're illegitimate. You know? We're all sucking so, on the copium right now. No, they're great people. like an Amber Heard and a Johnny Depp case, you know, where it's like a he said, she said kind of thing and it has to go down before a court. I have a strong feeling that this is corporate bullying. And my experience through life and the Western justice system is it's not always about right and wrong, morality, or actual justice itself. It's about Actually, who has the I deepest I screenshotted pocket. something earlier so when I saw people talking about this. trying Hold to on. take down an indie development team of about 25 people with very little funding at all. But they have an amazing game. The product that is dark and dark that they want to get their hands all over. If you really want to support the developers, if you really want to see this thing come to light and not turn into like vaporware, abandonware, essentially be vocal about the matter and if the developers reach out I, I doubt they will but there may be potential to help them fund um, their defense i don't know maybe that will be early access to okay the game maybe i didn't see. maybe i didn't screenshot but, that part but i was watching one stream earlier and they were talking about it and somebody said they were from korea and they said that the uh just like the business state itself was very much so on the side of iron mace and felt like this is exactly what he's saying is that it's like corporate greed like trying to step on the little guy what so, i do know is the public opinion in korea might be on iron mace's side i don't needs know eyes and ears this needs to be that's what somebody said in this one dude's spread around chat. by word of mouth that this is going down i thought i screenshotted that this could be like a david and goliath situation a good versus evil because if you've lived long enough in our western world the corporate world sometimes it's not about Somebody also right explained it like this, which I thought was really, really well. Uh, create game for studio. Studio shits on game. Leave studio and create game on your own. Be called a thief? Question mark. I think that's great. It's not scummy to leave and create your own version. It's scummy to steal codes as assets, which there hasn't been proof of. Even then, like if they stole some codes and assets, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Like morally, like yeah, legally they might be wrong, but I don't think morally. I don't give a fuck. Like I've said, I've said before myself, I have stolen from many corporations in my life without batting an eye, but I would never steal from an individual person. I would never steal from like a friend, any, any just random person I like, I would never steal from Walmart though. The fuck? I think I care. Um, was Robin Hood a scumbag? He was a thief, but he stole from the evil guys. Um, let's see what else? Uh, okay, that might have been it. Yeah, all right, let's keep going. All wrong. About who has the most money and power. Um. Wait, no, I didn't see that. I didn't. OTK does take stuff from me. You're right. <laughs> you wrote it, you key up. Oh. Was that a bit too doom and gloom? I, I, I know, I know. I just like, like I said, legally, if if they did directly steal code from Nexon, yeah, they're legally in the wrong. Morally, I don't give a fuck though. I don't care if they stole code from a game that Nexon was gonna shelf or turn into a, a horrible pay to win game. Steal that shit, Robin Hood. He's saying like I should have made like a lot. Legally, that they, they would be in Does the this wrong. Does make it a little bit more fun? Like, subscribe, and comment. Finger blast all the buttons. You know, all the b BS that the YouTubers say. But yeah, thanks. Um, we'll see how this escalates. But, oh, eh? and I think I get what you're saying about like, oh, even, okay, I get what you mean, Ben. Like, you're saying like the person that left Nexon to go work on this in Iron Mace. It's like, if they wrote that code, fucking they should keep it. I get what you mean. That's what you meant with that, right? Yeah. Like that person that left Iron Mace, like who cares if it was Iron Mace's code, like under their umbrella, that good dude wrote it. He, it's his. I think that's what you mean. I agree. I agree. Unless you meant like what I thought at first. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I agree. Um, okay. Steam's most popular new game has been removed. 
Let's see. This is some real Forever, sad, question mark? but also incredibly interesting information. And there's definitely two big ways to look at this. One of them being the legal route and the other one being from the consumer perspective. So I'll try and give you both of them uh, while we go throughout this video. Okay. So oh, Dark and Darker is him. probably a game you've heard of at this point. It's one of those small game studio developments that comes along maybe once or twice a year and just kind of encapsulates the entire market and people from every genre really start paying attention and think, wow, that's really cool. I can't wait to play that. We've had things like Valheim that have done the same thing. They just came out of nowhere and everybody was playing it. You couldn't go anywhere without seeing it. Things like Vampire Survivors, uh, things like Escape from Tarkov, which is, of course, a direct parallel here, since Tarkov is the sort of origin of this genre being an extraction hardcore shooter game. Well, Dark and Darker is an extraction hardcore but a little bit more compact uh, game with fantasy with basically you know skeletons swords and shields bows and magic essentially enter a dungeon it's very dark maybe a little bit darker and then you kill all right. the players try to get loot <laughs> it's and then dark try to maybe escape, a little bit darker sell the stuff level up your character <laughs> change your equipment and all that good stuff it has a lot of key elements that you know transcend all the genres that people really enjoy and it's just generally a great experience which is why it's seen such explosive that game, growth. That game looks great compared to what I was playing. What the fuck? And it's, of course, one of the most played and requested games to release over the next couple of months. Why do these graphics look so much testing, better? Which means it was probably only going to go from strength to strength and get incredibly better. Now, the problem here is there's a lot of legal problems with Dark and Darker, specifically the development studio Iron Mace seems to have been naughty boys at some point. Now, the development here is the game has been That's removed subjective. from Steam. And it's been removed from Steam as I think the Dark that's why Darker he used Naughty Boys because it's like due to the DMCA naughty. takedown like. by Nexon regarding Dark and Darker based on quote distorted claims. We are currently working with our legal team to yeah, remedy yeah, this, this issue in the best manner possible. Due to the sensitive legal nature of this issue, we must be careful with our statements as to not jeopardize our position. We ask for your understanding as we work to get the game back up as quickly as possible. Please know that we will do all that is possible for our fans. Thanks. Now, this is not the first time in the last year or so we've seen this from another game that people were very interested in. If you remember Myth of Empires, which nope. is a, a survival sandbox game, had Never a lot of elements of from games like Conan Exiles, Ark Survival Evolve, and it's a Chinese studio called Angela Games. And what happened with Myth of Empire is exactly what we're about to go through with Dark and Darker. So it's interesting look, to look at what can happen and how long of a ramification this can have. So Myth of Empires was coming out and a lot of people were really excited. And then they started getting accusations from another big studio, Studio Wildcard, who funnily enough, people from Angela Games used to work at and they left or were fired. I can't remember the specifics and then started their own studio and made this game. And the accusations were they stole code and potentially even assets from Studio Wildcard for games that they were working on while working for that company which is, of course, something you're not allowed to do. And civilly, this will get you absolutely wrecked. Yeah, like, like I said, legally, from Steam you're going to get over fucked. a year ago, and it's still not back on Steam. Morally, I don't care. Which essentially killed all hype for the game. People who had already bought it could still play. And I do believe like, at one I would point they started selling it on their own if Nexon, like, stole the code from their employee and then, like, took it from their department and put it into another department and was like, you're not working on this anymore, another team. Then it's like, what the fuck? That's when it's like, what are you doing? Or like say like one person steals code from like another person in their team and then leaves and then goes and does like like that. That's when it's like, okay, this is fucked. But like if you're stealing the code from like if you wrote the code and it's just owned by Nexon at that point, fuck them. Website, I'm not sure but where legally, we stand like with it I now, keep saying, you're, but they are still in the, the same wrong. legal issues because obviously, because there's you like contracts company, and things like that, like that you, leave, you have with your they work. They were essentially and things, alleging so. that they'd stolen code to work there, on there the There could game. even be contracts, like because uh, some of the people, it, it's not just this one person that left Nexon to go start Iron Mace. I guess multiple other people left from Nexon to go to Iron Mace, and there's sometimes in contracts, this is like an employee, like you can't poach other employees if you were to leave, things like that. So. There's like could be other and legal that's clearly avenues not allowed. as well. Now it's a little down. bit more interesting with Dark and Darker because again, similar situation. The people who work for Iron Mace, which is a new upstart studio, all worked for Nexon. But not only did they work for Nexon, what up, Sizzle? We're they just worked on a game right that was codena codenamed Project P3. And as you can see here from the screenshots, Dark and Darker on the right, 
Project P3 on the left. Yeah, see, this is what we looked at. Okay, this is the, this is the same thing. This UI is completely different. Completely different. The map, completely different. This is the same, like how they have the player list, but it's not showing here in Dark and Darker, but there is a player list just like that. The compass, but the compass even looks different. The health bar looks different. The torch, I feel like, even looks different. I don't know. It, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know these games look very, very similar. See, I, I disagree. I feel like these could be two different games. Right. <laughs> these, the map looks similar. These could be different games. The character, the controls look similar. The only difference here is the graphics look a little bit downgraded, which would be understandable considering Nexon the is graphics, a massive, The graphics, the UI is different. What? No, the UI is completely different. One of the biggest different. in gaming. And then Iron Mace is a smaller studio. Now, from what I remember, without going through all the details, I do believe Project P3 was either cancelled by Nexon or it was basically pushed really far back, like they're not really focusing on it anymore. The people who were working on Project P3 at the time left the studio or were fired, similar situation to Myth of Empires, and they started Iron Mace and started working on this game. Now, according to the company profile on Iron Mace's website, it is a quote, Merry band of veteran game developers who have become disillusioned with exploitative and greedy practices and are, quote, professionals who have worked on many hits in Korea. Based. About 25 employees are working. Now, as you can see here, the core developers of P3 are the same as the core developers of Dark and Darker. Okay. So they're working on this game, which we can all just use our common sense and look at and see. It's very, very similar. They're working on this game. No, Nexon, not common sense. Left or were fired and then started working on their, their new game, Dark and Darker. Now, the allegations here are, after leaving Nexon and started working on Dark and Darker, they are suspected of leaking Nexon's assets to the outside in violation of confidentiality and security oaths during this process. In the past, they were caught trying to take key data such as game codes, resources, and development documents out of the company. Cheating at P3, those involved were disciplined by Nexon. Of course, this is a Korean article translated, so there's going to be a couple of, of issues. After the punishment, some developers left Nexon, and it is concluded that the new development headquarters is continuing to develop P7 by mm. utilizing the core idea of the game. It appears that not all personnel left for Iron Mace. And of course, you might, if you've been familiar with this and been following along, remember that a couple weeks ago, some news broke that the Dark and Darker studio was raided by police. But it had been raided multiple times. to me. It's a, it's a fairly crazy development because usually this is settled. See, that's the thing, Sizzle, is like they've been raided multiple times over the past year and every single time the Dark and Darker studio has said that nothing was found. Iron Mace, they've like, nothing was found. We haven't heard anything to the contrary from the other side saying they did find anything or they didn't. We don't know. Um, but after this last raid that happened like, what was it, two weeks ago or something? Now there's a cease and desist, so... Right, you, you're basically alleging... We, just, we don't know. Like, nobody legally has come out and said, yes, there is, like, code that, that matched, that had, was stolen. That these people stole your code, or at least stole your ideas, uh, stole assets, perhaps, and then you take them to court, and it's civilly solved due to the fact that you're not allowed to do that. If you work for a company, and this company is developing something, and you have intimate knowledge of that thing, and then you leave and start making an exact replica of that. Even if you use all your own assets, all your own code, remove that from the equation, I'm fairly sure civilly you would be liable for that, at least really? potentially with a good uh, case against you. But with I mean, yeah, if the company, yeah, Nexon, a big-ass company, they have enough money to keep that shit going until they win. With police raiding but the studio, they're obviously... That, I don't know if I agree with that code remove that from the is equation. that true though like i'm fairly sure civilly you would because be like like we like we were saying in the last video there's all these like you can't like trademark the battle royale genre liable for that at least potentially and with a good uh, case against you right. but with police raiding the studio like i said though, if gonna... there is direct code that was stolen legally they're in the wrong morally i don't give a fuck and gather evidence there present that back to Nexon, and then a couple weeks later getting a DMCA to the point where you're removed from Steam, that looks really bad for the future of it Dark does. and Darker. That is like now, the worst ways, thing like that I said at the beginning of the video, to look at this. The first being from Nexon's perspective, which I don't really like doing because fuck Nexon, yeah, fuck based. these corporations in general. Okay. Um, but we'll get into the consumer aspect of, of why that's the case in a second. 
from their perspective, it's about working there before you've yeah. got people who worked for you, mm-hmm. who were working on a project that you tasked them to do, and is entirely your intellectual property. And then they leave and just remake the game, even if they don't use any of your stuff. I can see from their perspective this being like a, a really bad okay. thing, and, and you if couldn't you allow this. Then you make like, a clone, you're you have good. to okay. protect things like that. And well, this actually, would be that's interesting in because game. I heard that there's people making private servers already for Dark and Darker, but I'm pretty sure they could face the same exact DMCA takedown. Games industry of companies that's were just allowing people to do this, made by or the if people, there was no repercussions for people uh, leaving studios. There and just taking stuff with them, even if it's just ideas, and then making products. Now, there is, of course, a fine line between stealing and artistic uh, inspiration, or, you know, just taking a general idea and developing it into your own game. For instance, it, World of Warcraft clones in MMORPGs were never basically just carbon copy exactly the same. They were really close, but they did enough differently that you're not going to get sued for that, right? They're yeah. not, you know, not yeah, so the exact World of same Warcraft, classes, very fucking similar. The exact world Graphics the are characters. different, and all that. They're but... basically different enough to, to not have that be a problem. But in the case of if they were only slightly different and the people who were making those worked at that company, that would give you grounds to at least pursue this. Whether or not it succeeds or not depends on the jurisdiction and the finer points and details, but it would at least give you uh, an in to take a look at things like that. Now, if it's true that Nexon had basically scrapped this project and were doing nothing with it, while I do understand still from their perspective why they would do this, because it is a breach of their trust and confidence and their, what an, an employee should be doing. Insert Nexon, yes. It does come across yes. to me as incredibly um, just bad for consumers and pretty much everybody Get should them. as a they consumer be against Nexon on this basis. If they were and, and can prove that they were still actively developing and going to release the game, it is a lot more understandable. But from the consumer perspective... I want to play Dark and Darker. I want the game to come out. I think pretty much everybody who's looking at this is going to have that same opinion. And it's always bad when things like this get stifled. Games that people want to play just don't come out for legal reasons. And this is potentially true of what's going to happen. (laughs) If this goes the way Nexon wants, Dark and Darker is dead. This game doesn't come out. Because how are you going to release a game in anywhere, basically, apart from maybe you could get away with this in China, where they have very um, lax, let's say, copyright laws and things like that. How are you going to release this again when Nexon has more money than God, and they are going to absolutely drill you into the ground? Yeah. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to do it. So essentially, either this gets settled, whereby Iron Mace pays a whole bunch of money, if Nexon are even willing to allow that to happen, or somehow they win this case, which... Based on the context, or of next the month we get a Nexon uh, beta test for Darker Darker. Is working I'll be playing at the, it at the studio. <laughs> I'll be playing. The context of how close the game looks, like again, you can Nexon's be objective like, hey, and just look let at this us and do say, this. There's no way you could Come conceive in your us. mind of a way that these games don't look similar enough that you can make a point. They work there. They now don't work there, and they're immediately making a game that looks this close. Nexon has a real strong point here. Being not a lawyer, I'm not going to say whether or not this is a slam dunk and this means Dark and Dark is completely dead, but based on my experience, this really looks bad for the game. And Iron Mace, of course, is a studio. But yeah, I think this is super, super interesting. It's just really sucks for consumers because, again, fuck Nexon, fuck corporations, especially if they're doing this just basically because they're upset that they didn't want to make the game and then people took their idea and started making a game that people are going to really enjoy that would undoubtedly be better than Nexon's version in terms of monetization and things like that because Nexon, I mean, they're Nexon. We all know what to expect, especially if you've played Nexon games before. So yeah, that's Dark and Darker. I probably repeated myself a little bit in this video because I'm just trying to like work through the whole thing in my head as I go. But this is really important news and it it does suck. This Fuck. is one of the games I was most looking forward to yep. of all the games coming out that I'm aware of. Darker and Darker was one of the ones that I was really excited to play. And it's looking like maybe nobody will get to play Dark and Darker going forward. It's possible they get oh. around this somehow. It's possible it's settled. It's possible that this amounts to nothing. But just from what I've seen and from the you know common sense aspect of it, this is really bad so as of right now no uh, thanks like there will not time. be a play test next month it's taken off of steam there used to be a thing there with a this guy- was not the next video on the playlist this was absolutely not the next video okay
Next one was a dark and darker video. YouTube playlists are so dumb sometimes. So if you guys don't know, Dark and Darker has just received a cease and desist. We're going to cover everything. Does that mean Dark and Darker is done? Does that mean they're going to continue yeah, the so game? Yeah, so right now is it the is. the next There's play no... test still on? We're going to no, cover all of that news not. today. So if you guys don't know Iron Mace, the creators of Dark and Darker, ah! has been Fourth against next yep, on game. Fucking sucks. Next on is a massive. It's definitely not Keck W. A lot of titles. It's definitely and they're known bummer. To buy out titles and make them pay to win. And but we don't next know if it's on stolen or not. We're not 100 sure. A member of the Dark and Darker team was actually using parts of code from an old title that next on his shelf. They went ahead and started a legal lawsuit. And a couple weeks ago, it got to the point where Iron May Studios was actually raided. And now today, the news is out. They just said they got hit with a cease and desist letter. That was an official announcement in the Dark and Darker Discord. Now, as a Dark and Darker partner, I'm here to explain everything. Dark and Darker on, partner, what does that my mean? Opinion on the matter. What, is it, what does that mean? Official Discord for Dark and Darker. I haven't seen the statement. I'll just read it out to you guys really quickly to begin. At the time recording this, this has just came out and it reads to all our fans. We have recently yeah, served sucks, a cease bomb. and desist letter and a DMCA takedown by Nexon regarding Dark and Darker based on distorted claims. We are currently working with our legal team to remedy the issue in the best manner possible. Due to the sensitive legal nature of the issue, we must be careful with our statements so as not to jeopardize our position. We ask for your understanding as we work to get the game back up as quickly as possible. Please know that we will do all that is possible for our fans. Thanks. Now, a cease and a desist is a bit of a threat to an extent. It's a legal threat. A lawyer makes a threat. However, the next hey, it wasn't just a threat though, because Steam literally took the game down. Have belief that Dark and Darker is ripping off of a Nexon IPO. However, Iron Mace is. But I'm not sure if it's because I'm not a lawyer. When somebody sends a cease and desist, does that mean there is evidence there, or is that them just saying we think you better stop right now, or else we're gonna pursue this further legally? I don't know. A tone that they're gonna fight. I think that's. This. What, I don't know. That it's it's a bullshit, bogus claim, and they intend to fight it. We're not sure what that means for the next play test, or maybe Dark and Dark. I'm pretty the sure a cease and desist is just um, from a lawyer. Like it's not something extent, from a judge. The game. We're not sure. So maybe it's not an official ruling. Instead of Iron Mace, but this is all speculation. Like I said, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not time, an expert. We're going to take the standard legal very knowledgeable and fight them in court, so that Dark and Darker, as we know right now, law. can continue and will go on with more play tests and hopefully a full release. Now, we don't know exactly what's going to happen now, so subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the news regarding Iron Mace and this lawsuit yeah, dark in and stolen. But KW. I'm going to imagine Rip. this is going to push things back Rip. in regards to playtests. Fourth, how you so feeling, dude? Take time off for the next playtest, which is scheduled for April 14th to the 19th. I would not count on that. They might end up having a playtest then, but it's very unlikely. I would say there's like a 10% chance the playtest occurs that time. I do believe that we will still have Dark and Darker and Iron Mace will still be the studio behind it, but it might take some time. These legal battles go on for a long period of time. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's, least, that's what I was thinking. Worst case scenario, so then a Iron Mace assist, loses. It, like I said, isn't an official ruling from a judge. I think they would start a new dev team, but and we would get something... It's enough to scare Steam enough to say, hey, we're taking it off. Or maybe Dark and Darker themselves hit up Steam and said, hey, take it off. I don't know very similar to dark and darker maybe the graphics would look slightly different or things would play slightly different but overall the game would be extremely close to what we know and what we love it's just going to be delayed Ooh, going and to hopefully back. i don't think anybody will go to worst jail case scenario dark and darker really might just get canceled dark and darker so this is terrible news to hear today it's probably the title that i'm most excited for in all of 2023 but fuck next on about covers everything that happened today hopefully this video helped sum it up for you guys i love you all I'll see you guys all on Discord. Okay, I think the there's stream. one more video. There's no shortage of yeah. Let's hear what Charlie has to say. The video game industry, but I don't think we're going to learn anything that's new. Been able to fly under the radar for way too long now, even though it's just as slimy and scummy as some of the more mainstream ones people like to spit on, and that's Nexon. You've probably heard of them because of Maple Story. That's by far the originators their of Pay to Win, Magnum Opus, the cash cow that they're addicted to milking. 
And for a long time now, they've been able to tiptoe around in the shadows, hiding their stink from the public nostrils. But last month, they flew a little too close to the sun, and we could start to smell their odor. And I swear to God, it smelled like shit. About a month ago, they decided to start bullying a smaller developer Entire named Iron Man yeah, who's I working bet. on a game that I am a massive fan of. Are you feeling Duncan better Darker. though? I you said good, so you're feeling better. So are you still far, like and I have been the over the main part of the sickness, the infection? But love is a concept that doesn't exist at Nexon. Only cold, hard dollar bills that they were missing out on. They're like the Mr. Krabs. Yeah, I don't think anybody will end up going to jail over this. Games. So they started to put Iron Mace in their crosshairs, Just claiming a that the that Dark and Darker developers out of business. stole from Nexon. They said that not only did they steal code from an unreleased project at Nexon called P3, they stole assets from that project. And basically the claims boiled down to there was an employee at Nexon back in 2021 who was working on a project called P3 that is similar to Dark and Darker. That employee apparently was talking about like leaving and starting their own company, kind of expanding upon this P3 idea. He ended up being. And fired. I agree with Ben. Le and I, um, I keep repeating myself. Legally, if they did steal code because it was under the Nexon umbrella, legally they were in the wrong. Morally, I don't give a fuck. I hope that I hope they win, and they get to keep it. But uh, especially if it was like the guy that the main guy that left, like if he was the guy developing this shit, and then they just were like, oh no, sorry, we're shelving this. We're not going to continue development. Fuck them. Leave the company. Go, go make your game. And then, you know, you know fast forward to late 2020. Hopefully, it, hopefully they Dark prevail. Darker, which bears some resemblance to that P3 project. So next is claiming that they stole from them, citing assets and code that was ripped directly from that unreleased project, as well as idea theft, saying that this was according a to everything Nexon we know, idea. the game was going to be shelved and turned into like an escape from Tarkov game. Yeah, and thus they don't really have the right to use it, uh, which is why that title is you can't copyright a game genre because this is an extraction style game. Mm -hmm. It's a genre that's well established. The only spin on it is instead of being guns like Tarkov, it's medieval weaponry. And it fucking bangs. This shit fucks. It is amazing. The best I game I've ever played on stream. And unfortunately now, Nexon has gone so far as to issue a police the most raid fun I've on their studio ever had headquarters. Playing a game on as stream. I understand it, they didn't find anything there. They reassured fans that it was quick and nothing was found and there will be no delay in development and nothing to worry about. So I'm guessing they went there and got a giant fucking nothing sandwich served to them. There was, I suppose, no stolen code, no hidden secret documents from Nexon, no Krabby Patty secret formula, just some hardworking developers and their project. Uh, but that's not where this story stops. In fact, today... This is why we're talking about it. Today, Nexon has once again escalated this conflict and issued a full-blown cease and desist to Dark and Darker, which has led to it being pulled from Steam. So effectively shut down for the time being, all based on these claims that it was stolen from them. Of course, Iron Mace denies all the allegations, yeah, saying like, that Dark and Darker's... Uh, according to all the police raids that Iron Mace has said, they haven't found anything. But after this last police raid, it has resulted in a cease and desist. Um, but we, that doesn't mean they found anything, but, uh, to me, it seems like they're just trying to come after them for an idea. Say, Hey, we had this idea. We don't like that. You're working on it. Now you're an ex employee. You took other employees. Code was built from but, scratch and it's yeah, hopefully they, either purchased hopefully the they didn't steal it just for legal ramifications. Like, cause like I said, if they did steal it, they're legally in the wrong. No real marketplace are designed internally. And if you've played Dark and Darker, you're going to notice like half of the assets in this game come from the Wait, Unreal Marketplace. Wait, can you really? That's I crazy. I play a I lot didn't of shit that. on Steam new releases, and I can recognize half of the models in Dark and Darker from all of the other games I've played. And that's not a problem. The assets are there for a reason. Plus, it's still like in very early playtesting stages, so of course they're going to be using assets. I don't know what fucking assets they're even claiming are stolen Do from they Nexon. Really? I didn't Nexon, even know that for like, Ferraris. Has some kind wow. of monopoly on the Unreal Marketplace where it's all their assets. They're like the kingpin and their drug empire is the Unreal Marketplace. It just doesn't make any sense because, again... Half or even maybe more than half of Dark and Darker uses just standard store-bought Unreal assets. So to me, the claim is extremely confusing. What like, the I don't fuck? even feel like Phoenix Wright could make even an argument that some it? of these assets wow. are stolen from Nexon's unreleased P3 project. Because again, so much of Dark and Darker 
is Unreal Assets. Like, I can't imagine them being like, oh my god, that rock that's in the middle of that prison cell is actually from P3. I'd recognize it. Yeah, that's true. Like we said from the first video, the big cave troll was literally an asset they bought from the Unreal store. Like, it wasn't something they designed themselves. The big cave troll was something that was bought, like already made on Unreal. Where that is a distinct rock that, that was developed in house at Nexon. It's our pride and joy. Oh my god, and that chalice that players can collect, that golden goblet of fire. To me, it very much so seems like they're just Nexon. coming at them for the idea of Dark yeah, and Darker. They've stolen it from us. And trying to like, say that they know stole where stuff. They, there's, where there's even wiggle room for them to make claims that some of these assets And, were like I said, for anybody that missed it, there was I was watching a stream earlier where somebody said they were from Korea. And they said the whole business uh, culture and uh, in Korea was like siding with Iron Mace on this, saying that it's just big corporate greed trying to, to step on them. So much is from fucking we, that's all. It's assets. all speculation. But regardless, uh, moving forward, Iron Mace developers have, of course, made a statement about this whole thing. They've said to all our fans, we have recently been served a cease and desist letter and DMC takedown by Nexon regarding Dark and Darker based on distorted claims. We are currently working with our legal team to remedy this issue in the best yep. manner possible. Due to and the that's sensitive... the thing. It's like you can't uh, copyright the battle royale genre. You can't do that. Or you can't uh, copyright the looter and escape genre like Escape from Tarkov. You can make your own games and, and stuff. But the main problem here is that this company is saying you directly stole code from us. But I, th I think it's more they're alleging that they stole code just hoping that that brings them somewhere in a lawsuit saying oh but really they're just like taking our idea like there's these ex-employees that were working on this now they're working on it in a Legal different nature studio of this issue we must be careful with our statements so as to not jeopardize our position we ask for your understanding as we work to get the game Ooh, get back up as suppies. quickly as possible please Sizzle. know that we will do all that is possible for our fans thanks a very sweet message throughout this entire discourse iron mace has seemed extremely professional but I just want to point that out. They have seemed like absolute sweethearts here in the face of bullshit. Yeah. This, to me, uh, I'll break this down and give my whole perspective on this after researching all of it. This, to me, feels like Nexon bullying a smaller company because they feel like they've missed out on a golden goose here. Because Dark and Darker has become extremely popular, and they did have an idea that was similar to it called P3. P3 never got off the ground, Dark and Darker did. This really feels like it's almost some level of vengeance and, and spite against Dark and Darker's success. Yeah, Nexon I agree with, I agree with what, million... what Bent said too, just morally. Like, if the dude that got fired from Nexon decided to take his code that he wrote and go, like, start a new company with it, Tens of dollars hopefully they can he ends up winning the shitter you know? at this and completely it's like maybe Iron he Mace and his team wrote the code but it's owned company, by nexon fight Fuck this em, legal battle tooth and nail Fuck it em. seems which is extremely upsetting considering these claims aren't 100 percent proven to be accurate anyway in fact at least according to police raid they didn't even find any evidence yeah. to support the claims but yet they've still managed to dmca cease and desist this game and get it removed from steam and now Iron Mace is going to have to engage. But like you know, I said, and with what Forth said, I think this is how it is. I'm pretty sure a cease and desist is just a lawyer writing that up. A lawyer can write up a cease and desist and send it to somebody. And you can choose to follow it or not. Lengthy and very expensive I don't know, battle with this absolute titan of douchebaggery. Nexon is just an absolute trash company. And even if every single one of their claims is accurate, 100% truthful... They are still a horrible, garbage, piece of shit company regardless. Even from everything outside of Dark and Darker. Even before this, they've been a terrible company. But this especially. And I'll go a step further. Maybe we're getting into dicey, spicy territory here. But I'm just going to say it with my whole chest. If all of Nexon's claims are accurate, Dark and Darker did take that idea from Nexon and build upon it. And even if they used a couple of assets that they developed while working at Nexon... I don't give a fuck. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> I view them based. more as heroes. I respect yes. them more if they did that. Yes. Because Nexon can suck the dirtiest part of my asshole. Yep. I cannot stand that company. I think that would be great if that really was the case. I don't think the Nexon Corporation should have the legal right to have this stranglehold on a video game idea that they didn't even make themselves. This idea was cooked up by the creative minds that were let go from Nexon in the first place. Thus, since they're no longer at Nexon, I feel they should be able to explore that idea and build of upon course. it privately 
in their own way at their own studio, even though that idea was something they may have had while working elsewhere. They are no longer working there. That company is no longer working on that project. Thus, the team that actually made the idea and the the prototypes should be able to take that work and build upon it on their own. But like I, I said, if they, like, so, say that team wrote the code under Nexon, it is, like, technically owned by Nexon, but... I don't know if that's a hot don't take, care. but again, assuming every claim from Nexon is accurate, even still, yeah, I it don't makes care. it clear that the idea and the work was done by employees that were let go from Nexon. Thus, it shouldn't be their idea anymore, Nexon's idea. It should be the individual's idea who actually came up with it in the first place. Thus, I feel like they should have the right to continue to work on it if they choose to. But again, it's important to reiterate that as of right now, there's still no real hard evidence against Iron Mace. Uh, nothing that's really supporting Nexon's big claims of stolen code, stolen assets, and shit like that. So we're just gonna have to yeah, wait we, to see like how I all said, this Yeah, like I said, and I've been saying this from the very beginning of watching these. We have there's no proof of that. Like every single time there's been a raid, Iron Mace says nothing was found. They didn't say nothing was found with this last one. I don't. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. But it did result in a cease and desist. But that could have just been the Nexon's lawyers being like, fuck, we didn't get anything. All right, let's send him a cease and desist. But it's really disappointing have been that. to see that Dark and Darker is no longer up on Steam because another playtest was right around the corner that I was extremely excited for, as were a lot of people. So hopefully this situation can get, can get resolved pretty yeah, quickly. Like Forth yeah, said, that's about Dark it. and Stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, it's so great. Okay, there's it's one like... other one that I want to watch. I don't have it saved, but it's some people talking about dark and darker private servers. Because I, I will be there. I will be there. Uh, oh, here it is. How we doing, guys? Uh, yeah, so we just had... Bro, it looks like they just got done crying. <laughs> Found out about the news of they the just cease and desist crying, that Nexon bro. gave to uh, Iron too. Mace. And we're not too happy about it. That's why when I saw Ford um, come so in we with were the developing Dark a and Stolen server, KW, I was like... Ooh. And we kind of stopped because the playtest was coming out. And then we had yeah, the private servers, game launching but, shortly after. But the bad thing about private servers... S fan used to play World of Warcraft Classic uh, private servers before World of Warcraft officially released Classic um, to be played by everybody. S fan got banned from YouTube. Blizzard DMCA'd him, and he got straight up his account banned from YouTube, and he didn't get it unbanned for like a long time. That's when he switched over to Twitch and started streaming there. So, so we kind of stopped a little bit. Like, but whether or not people will be able to stream it on private servers. Who knows? With the things, the way things are going, we're very worried that we're going to do lose it. This sizzle! Game. All, mo as we learned, a lot of those assets could just be bought off of the Unreal Marketplace, like the the cave troll and stuff. So, so exactly. Going, like, Fuck full Nexon for the whole what private up, Mr. thing. Um, so I'm here with Meech right now, and we're just uh, just showing you guys a proof of concept, and we just really want everyone to join the Discord and work together as a team. So we can get this done. And we're going to show you here the proof of concept of a private server. Kind of the furthest we've gotten. Um, but as you can see here, the top left is a server emulator. And we're able to load characters and okay. stuff. But the problem is, so I'm able to load maps and everything. But all the time I was trying to load maps, I could never load players or items. So it has to literally be, and you can see he's at the tavern at the end. Uh, but there's a lot more that needs to be done. It's a lot of legwork, and we need people who are willing to work or just support in general. Um, so if you guys just could please, like, I really do want to play this game. I don't want to be lost. <laughs> I really want to play this game, um, bro. I feel and, it, man. Yeah. Just do, do you see how depressed he is when he's saying this? This We're just going to get to work because... This is a great fucking Unless game. that's just how he is all the time, you know? Um, he's just, that's his, his vibe. Yeah, we'll see you in the Discord. Oh, God, Streamlabs? No. Stop. What? No. Get off that. Um, I think that's it for the dark and darker stuff, though. I don't think we have any other information. I think we just have to kind of sit and wait. Iron Mace is going to have to go to court now and, and legally go to battle. Because of the cease and desist, I think. 
Um, I mean, it's not existing anymore. It's taken off Steam. The next playtest is not happening. Unless something happens in the next, like, two weeks, three weeks, where they're like, oh, no, we have control again. We can, we can put it up. But it is officially off of Steam because of the cease and desist that was sent by Nexon. But we're kind of speculating, learning a little bit. Fourth put in some information in the chat. Does a cease and desist mean that they found proof and they're saying you need to stop now? Or is a cease and desist just Nexon being like, fuck, all these police raids have happened over and over. We are not finding the stolen code. Now we're just going to have our lawyer write up a cease and desist and send it. And hopefully they comply. Because if they don't comply, then they'll like for sure be in court, I guess. I don't know. I don't for sure know how that works. But they got hit with a cease and desist by Nexon. The game is off Steam. That's how bad it is sucks big time i'm so excited to play that with all you guys again um let's uh let's real quick actually before we w look at twitch clips i want to see if i can find any video about the creator clash thing Um, okay, here's some of it. iDub's mother-in-law wants Creator Class Fighter uh, Froggy Fresh replaced. Um, Froggy see. Fresh is a YouTuber and upcoming fighter in iDubs and Anissa Jamha's charity boxing event, Creator Clash 2. Recently, he got into a Twitter argument with Anissa's mother after she- Wait, what? Why would you ever do that? Even if you feel like you're in an argument with somebody on Twitter and you're like in the right, like why do you care to like argue with someone's mom? Like, what do you gain from that? <laughs> what do you gain? Like, I, I would never, like, ever... I don't want to go on Twitter and debate anybody. Or, like, back in the day, Facebook, somebody would write their opinion, and then the whole comment thread is everybody else's opinion. Like, that was never me. That was so fucking cringe to be like, okay, now I need to type out my paragraph response on a Facebook about how I feel about this. No one cares. But, like, why? Like, somebody's mom? Like... What a dumbass. Okay. Anyway. She told him he's an imp and should be replaced by someone else in the upcoming event. Damn, he responds by fucked. saying, better an imp than a pimp. Shout out your boy iDubs. Aniza, come get your mom. Obviously referencing that iDubs' wife Aniza has an OnlyFans. He then makes a Twitter video titled, This is for Charity. I going on to my Twitter today. What don't I see? Aniza's mom is saying, hoping that somebody replaces that imp. Now I go on to Google to see what imp was. And they said it's a small devil. Now, I got saved by the Lord and baptized when I was about seven. So I don't know what she's talking about. No one cares, bro. If you hang out with someone like Sam Hyde, you're a piece of shit. About. But I can tell you this. This is a charity event. So hopefully, Mr. Is going Busket, to be coming hopefully. Up in here, talking garbage about but me. But Nexon is such a big company that it's like, fuck, man. Like a small company like Iron Mace, what are they going to do? When she don't know a darn thing about me, I don't appreciate it. We're trying to raise money for charity. If someone can come get her and take her home, give her a coat and take her home. Froggy Fresh is a YouTuber and okay. upcoming fighter. Um, it doesn't seem... Oh my god, Arya forgets her cameras? Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this clip? Um, I don't think there's anything else. Like, there's no mogul mail. Wait, maybe, uh, maybe Charlie has something on it? No. Nothing yet. Um, I think we'll probably skip the creator class stuff until there's more on it. I don't know anything about it other than what, what Bent has told us. Mm. Yeah, I don't see anything from any of the people that would usually talk about it. Let me just go on Twitter real quick. See if I see anything.
Oh, wow, Lakari. Because of, uh, here. Because of Nexon's actions against Dark and Darker, I'm deleting my Blue Archive account. Doing it tonight live, be there. I will no longer be considered the Blue Archive guy. I'm, I'm no longer going to support game companies that decide it's cool to ruin potential good games. Nice, Lakari. I fuck with that. Yeah, already watched, right? Um, why do I hear you arguing with my mom? Then, in a, I hear her yelling harder. All. The harder is just, she's asking me to massage her back harder. That's all it is. That's all it is.